Last week, I took a look at an alright vintage hi-fi component and the format's history. The sound quality, in my opinion, is perfectly acceptable. The reason I did that was because in recent years, the music cassette as a format was becoming more popular for a few reasons. One is it's an analog recording instead of digital samples of the intensity of the sound. Because of the increase in sales, new low-end cassette recorders are being sold on shopping websites such as eBay. This is a portable recorder with an analog AM and FM radio tuner and mono cassette recorder built in made by Groovy. These sell for £20 give or take. The ne mechanisms being the cheapest possible are not the greatest. Just listen. This is what I sound like recorded with a 16-bit 48kHz digital microphone without any editing. And this is what I sound like recorded onto tape with my best recorder without noise reduction. Now to pop this tape into the portable recorder. This is what a tape sounds like playing through the portable recorder. Not the greatest. Also, I've noticed that recordings are done up to negative 6 decibels, but I recorded this at up to 0 decibels. This means its output is not the strongest. This machine can also record from AM or FM radio on tape. The machine also has stereo earbuds, and the TRRS plug makes me think it outputs in stereo. I don't know if this is true considering this machine only has one 1 watt speaker, but wait, there's more. One interesting feature is the built-in microphone, which was used in desktop recorders to record speech, which was the original purpose of the format. If you want to record like this, you select tape and press the red button. Like review say, this machine does not have the greatest microphone, because it picks up noise from the motors running, buzzing, and hiss in the tape. No noise reduction here. I admit I found the ability to record a speech or broadcast directly to tape useful, but its quality is not the greatest. The box also says to use a 60 minute cassette, but I find using a 90 minute cassette, which is the longest length, works just fine. It might be because of battery life concern, but I've had this running on two AA Duracell batteries for the past two weeks. If you were to use rechargeable batteries, you might not get a day of use out of them. And when they run low, the motor inside will spin more slower, which will cause the recording to slow down, or playback abnormally fast during playback on a fresh pair or another machine. That's all I have to say. This video is not endorsed, it's just my opinion of these machines. That's all I have to say. This video is not endorsed, it's just my opinion of these machines. If you liked this, press like and subscribe for next week's video where I get a hi-fi component record player working, or Saturday's video where I complete the new Super Mario Bros. Wii ROM hack, Nora Summer Sun. See you then.